How's it going guys? It's another day with Android app today. Well, um, as many of you know, Skype has finally re-released their Android version of Skype. Um, for the longest time it was only on Verizon how they had some kind of, you know, bond between Verizon and Skype. But they finally released one in the uh, Mac, uh, Android market. So far, the UI compared to what the Android uh, Skype app used to be, it's so much better. You know, it's a lot cleaner. It looks more, I guess, more professional looking. However, there's a downside to it, and which is that in the US, you cannot use VoIP over 3G. It's only through uh, Wi-Fi. So that would be, you know, that's kind of bad. How, com um, considering that you have an app for it, but you need Wi-Fi to do, you know, Skype to Skype calls or use Skype credit to call, say like long distance calls. However, just to today I believe or yesterday uh, a hacked version of Skype app came up now you can do 3G calling you know without a, without a problem and this I've tested on um, both on Wi-Fi and 3G and uh, the friend that I called actually said the calling quality is you know pretty good and the same over Wi-Fi and 3G so that's a good thing well we'll just um, go ahead and do like a quick run through of the UI and see how that goes so here we have the Skype app now on the old Skype app it was just three home screen kind of style where you had your main screen as your contacts when you scroll to the right you have your events scroll to the left you get your contact I mean to uh, you get your interface to make um, calls through the dial pad however now we have a tab system we have events my info call and contacts now the call interface looks you know very nice very neat you get to choose the country on which you you should call where you wish to call using your Skype credit and this icon here will get you to your contacts in your phone so you know if you have numbers saved there, saved in there you can just dial it right off and in my info this is all you get Skype credit information your mood events the regular you know who's messaging you and how much credit you have contacts just looks like that so in settings there's not much going on in settings so you can either choose to start up automatically uh, signing automatically notifications you only get for incoming calls and incoming messages so I guess you don't get anything for say friend invites I'm not sure I gotta see on that part now incoming call ringtone when you choose default it's actually the default ringtone assigned for the Skype app not the default ringtone that's on your phone so you have to choose you know your own ringtone out of out of your phone now depending on what kind of app you have you might get all these selections so that's a good thing you have you can choose you know you have a lot of options to choose from other than that, um, here is account syncing. So just like the Twitter and Skype, app, uh, face, uh, sorry, Facebook app, you can you know sync your contacts that's on your phone book and sync it just like you would with uh, Facebook and Twitter. So that's a neat feature. It's, if you already have friends that already have fa um Skype account, it should you know automatically detect it. So that's pretty much it for the setting part. And as far as call quality, uh, call quality go, like I said, I have the uh, hacked Skype app, so I can do calls over 3G and Wi-Fi. I've compared the two call qualities, and according to the person you know I, that I tested with, they sound the same. They sound clear and nice, so that's a good thing. That 3G doesn't affect the call quality, even with or without Wi-Fi. And yeah, that's you know that's about it far as the features go. And uh, let me see, the Messenger app part looks like uh, like this, just like uh, you know going back and forth iPhone is style. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, that was just a really quick run through of the Skype app and yeah hope you enjoyed it. you guys enjoyed it so you know that was kind of like the quick run through of the the skype app itself 
Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, suggestions, things you want me to cover, just comment me below. And the um, oh, and I will put the link to download the uh, hacked Skype app on the description box below, so you guys all can, all of you guys can enjoy the 3G calling. Just uh, yeah, just a tip: when you download the file, it's gonna say skype.apk.zip. So all you have to do is rename the file to just skype.apk. Omit the zip part, and it should be good. So yeah, enjoy your 3G calling. Uh, sub subscribe if you liked it. You know, if you haven't, go ahead and do that. Like the video, and thank you for watching. Bye.